Okay, welcome back everybody to our Revit 2016 uh, Project B. Okay, so in the last uh, video uh, we created this roof. Okay, just tap in valley roof, the 450 overhang. Um, and I also showed you how to create a gable. Okay, remember by turning the slope, um, define slope parameter for that line there in sketch mode. Okay, and then we, you know, we again we just put our fascias and our gutters on and that was it so for this lesson okay we need to add a roof down here we need to add some sort of roof here for the porch or the front entrance and a roof here on the side okay which is over the garage this one here is a little bit more interesting because it's on a boundary so we're going to make sure that we get the gutter at the right place okay so for this job we're going to go to our first floor plan okay now this is where um, a, a view where we can see both the first floor and the ground floor at the same time so it helps us very easily to see you know where everything is okay um, but we just got to be very careful here. We don't want to actually pitch the roof on the first floor plan. We actually want to pitch it down here. But if I go to my first floor ceiling plan, just for quickly, I can't see an awful lot. So it's a bit um, hopeless. Okay. So if I go to my first floor plan, what we can do is we can create the roof in this in this view, and we can assign it to a different level. So that's not a problem. Okay. So like I said, we're going to do this long roof here. And the, we might just do a skillion or something to that effect. So uh, we're going to go to our roof by footprint uh, command here. And the weather thing like that. We're still in basic roof. Okay. Um, now I still want to um, pick walls initially, and I still want my 450 overhang because we've got, you know, we've got a one meter setback here, so we can actually overhang the roof a little bit. So I'm going to pick that wall and overhang there. Okay, so we've done that part there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, because I'm going to wax, you know, skillion this side, I'm going to skillion that side. Okay, what I want to do is I just want to draw some lines now. So I'm going to use my line tool here up top. There we go. And uh, just draw a little line there draw a little line there. So these are the lines that are just sitting over the edge of the wall or on the edge of the wall. Right, now another th little thing we'll do here, I'm going to press TL. Okay, I'm going to turn my th thin lines off so we can better see these um, drawing lines. Okay, so I'm now also just going to draw across here. Now I need to turn my thin lines back on because I want to make sure that that line is sitting sort of roughly in the right place. I'm happy for argument's sake. Okay, now I'm going to go TR for trim. Okay, so this is a, modif a modifying tool. Okay, so now I can go, trim is just like filler. If you're an AutoCAD fan or an AutoCAD user, fill it and trim do the same job. So if I click this line here, then left click this line here, fillets it out for us. Likewise here and there. There, 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 there. Okay. So that is that is the shape of our roof. Okay. But if I was to finish that roof right then and there, okay, we get this really odd ball shape. Okay, and that's not what we're after. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit control Z, we're gonna undo that. Okay. What I need to do, okay, is I need to take the slope off. So this this side's going to be a gable. Okay, so uncheck the defined slope. That's going to be a gable. Undefined, uncheck that one there. Now if I click tick, okay, I've still got a ridge there. Okay, so there's one more line. So this one here also needs to be, have the slope um, unchecked. Okay, so the moral of the story is, is that these for skillion roofs you only have one side of the roof sketch with the slope applied. Okay, um, it's a bit hard to see in there because we've got this text in the way.
but again I can go to my properties bar here and I can go 22.5 not 222.5 222.5 apply and finish the sketch now that theoretically should have worked oh, one more thing click on the roof you can do this when we're finished and change it in the properties you see it's base level is currently the first floor plan so I just want to change that to the ceiling level okay so that's just dropped it down a level there it is there that doesn't look too bad okay does the trick okay so while we're here we may as well okay let's add our fascias fascia there there Oop. and there okay don't worry about these gaps here we're going to go through that later on okay so we've got that part there and the other part we can add in obviously quite so easily is a gutter so roof gutter tool pick that outside edge and remember gutter tool will not assign gutters to um, gable ends okay so that's one roof segment done okay let's go back and do this one here there we go. so back to our first floor plan okay let's zoom in here okay so a couple of things here okay brick veneer wall okay so this is the inside edge of the timber frame then we've got 90 40 thing we can't see that at the moment okay but we can make a start on some things so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to go roof again roof by footprint okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use yet another drawing tool just to speed things up a little bit so I'm going to grab this rectangle tool so left click on that this one's nice and easy snap to that corner and there we go you can see that rivets self aligning there we go so that's all done okay so it's a very quick tool to draw nice rectangles now what I need to do here is I need to make sure this wall sit this point sit in the wrong place it's not sitting on the timber frame wall so I'm going to left click on that and I have a move tool here MV so I click left click on that so very similar to AutoCAD doesn't matter where I click so left click that starts the move okay choose the direction you want and then type in the number okay and then left click or enter to finish the move so I've just moved that line 90 millimeters over so now that truss or you know roofing component or rafter will sit, be sitting on the edge we've still got this brick exposed okay but we've got fascia and gutter to go over top of that so next thing now is obviously we need to do what we did before and undefine the slopes oops and we obviously want to redefine this one here so I click on that number now 22.5 and finish the sketch mode okay jump into 3D okay see I haven't changed this one I haven't reassigned it so to the right level so if I, I can do this in 3D so I click on that there we go base level first floor plan change that to the ceiling level in my properties there you go Revit just nudges it down for us okay so what we can do here is I can go roof fascia now this fascia is going to be possibly a little bit too big it's going to cut into here so um, I probably want a fascia doing something like that I'm not going to stress about this little piece in there okay and I'm going to do that fascia as well okay then I'm going to restart the fascia in my uh, model place and now I'm going to go to fascia edit type and in my profile I'm just going to choose a different size fascia so it's going to take the 140 it's not as fat okay apply and okay actually they all changed how about that okay 
Let's just undo that a couple of times. Just look at my undo. There we go. Okay. Let's just apply the fascia as it is. We we'll have to have a think about that one. Okay. Alright, it's only going to be critical when we cut if we cut through their insection, so let's not stress about it right now. And the next part here is that we go roof, gutter, and put a gutter over there. Okay, so we've got a couple of little things happening here. Okay, yeah, gutter hasn't drained off the edge there or there. But right now, I'm not going to stress about that sort of stuff. We can modify that afterwards and uh, muck around with things. But the principles are there with regards to how to create a skillion. Okay, so we've got a couple of skillions there. Ooh, let's get in the middle. Spin it around. There it is there. Okay. Last one. Okay, it's just to create some sort of roof feature out this way. So I am now going to again just go back to my um, roof by footprint. Okay this time I'm going to sketch these lines out. Okay it's going to create a slightly different effect but um, I'm not going to worry about it too much at the stage. Okay. So I'm going to use my garage. Okay, so I might grab something about there. And oh, come out about there. There. And there. Okay, so I'm just creating this shape like that. Okay, I'm just going to turn my thin lines on. Because I can, I could, and sort of felt that I could. I could feel that that line there wasn't in the right place. So all I did there is if you select a, an element and rev it, if you hover over it, sometimes you get the move button. Okay, and it will snap, um, align itself quite nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, as I said, I need to now muck around with things. So these elements that are butting up to the house, I don't want a slope on those. So I'm going to turn them off. Okay. Um, I've got three elements here with with slope on them, so I can go to my properties bar here and I can change them wholesale just by going into the properties bar. And I'm just going to finish my um, sketch that way. There we go. Change it down to our ceiling level. Is that good architecture? I'm, I'm looking at it now and I'm not too happy with it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on my roof. I'm going to go edit footprint. Back to um, the floor plan. I can do it from here actually. So this is my ground floor plan. This is actually a better view. So this roof will still produce in the ceiling level, but I can now look at the ground floor view and understand that why this is starting to look so shocking. Okay, and basically because I had not accounted for the fact that the porch is actually over here, not in here. So I'm just stretching things out a little bit. I'm just going to redesign it a little bit. Okay, the other one apart is that I didn't really like having a hip there and I didn't really like having a hip there and finish my sketch it hasn't disappeared it's just not in that view okay there we go find a little flourish where we add some fascias okay and we add a gutter there we go. I said it's not perfect. Okay, 22.5. But it now, architecturally, it's going to perform a little bit better because it now creates a nice cover for the front door when we put that in. Okay, now don't worry about all these gaps that you're seeing through here and all this sort of stuff. We're going to fix all of that up. Okay, right, but until then, we'll see you later and um, 
yeah, next video we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Okay, catch you later.